Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a team-only car. So, first of all, we're going to need our actual car. So, I'm just going to use the same car that I used in my press E to enter car video. You can go check that out, it's in the description. So, I'm just going to go here, and we used a Jeep. So, I'm just going to go get a Jeep, just like this. So this will be our Jeep. So the next thing we need to do is under the driver's seat, click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt. You can rename the proximity prompt whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it press E to enter. Just like that. And under the press E to enter, just click the plus and enter a script. If you can't find uh, this explore and properties thingy, just make sure you go into the view tab up here and they should be right there. You should always have these open at all times as they are very useful. So we're just gonna leave that script there for now. So the next thing we're gonna do is go into the model and then if you see these little two gear thingies, click that and then go into teams and make sure that you insert teams. So if you go down into the explore, can see that teams are now added in here so we're just going to click the plus and add in a team so this will be our first team we're just going to call it red you can duplicate it and we'll name the second team blue so now what we're going to do is go into the red team and make sure that the team color is red and then go into the blue team and make sure that the team color is really blue so now I'm just going to quickly make a team change thingy. So go into model and then click the spawn. And then we're just going to rename the spawn to red. And then go into the properties of spawn. Make the brick color really red. And scroll down until you find teams. So make sure that allow team change on touch is checked. Neutral is unchecked. And make sure that the team color is really red. This really red should match up with the really red that's under the teams so we're just going to do the same thing so we're going to duplicate it except for this one is going to be team blue and you can go into the properties make sure that it's really blue scroll down to teams and truly really blue so this is a really simple team change and also don't forget that needs to be uh not neutral so make sure neutral is unchecked so next thing we're going to do is go back into the car and then inside the press E to enter, we're just going to open up the script. So you can now write what I write. So local proximity prompt. And make sure that there's no space. So local proximity prompt equals to script dot parent. And then local seat equals to script dot parent dot parent. And then C, colon, get, property, change, signal. And then make sure that there's quotation marks. Occupant. So this will check if there's a player on the seat. So colon, connect, and then function. So it should look like that. And then if C dot occupant then and then we're going to go down the line and then proximity prompt dot enabled equals to false so if there's somebody on the seat it will not show up go down the line and then write else and then proximity prompt dot enabled equals to true so if there's no one on the seat then the e screen will show up and then we're going to go down two lines and then we're going to write Proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function and then brackets and in here write player and write if player dot team dot name equals equals to and then this is where you're gonna choose the team. So right now I'm just gonna choose if you're on team red. Then you can sit on the car if you're not on team red then you can't so if the team name equals to red then we're gonna write seat 
colon, sit, and then we're gonna write brackets, and then player dot character dot humanoid. Just like that. So that should be a script so we can press play and test it out. So I just load in, you can see I'm on the red team. So I go up and I can press interact and I can drive the car. But if I get out and then I go into the team blue and I go back, you can see that I cannot get onto the car. So one final thing. So a lot of you guys had problems with the proximity prompt in the last video. And I'm here to show you how to fix it. So go into the press E to enter or proximity prompt. Go into the properties and then make sure that requires line of sight right here is unchecked. And then you can also customize it however you want. So like hold duration three, keyboard that, maybe uh, 50. And then object text, so this is the Jeep. And then the action text is drive. And then this is what it should look like in the end. So I just load in, and as you can see, if I'm on red team and I hold for three seconds, I can drive the car. And then if I go onto the blue team, really quick, so now I'm on team blue. And if I go back to the car, it will, if I hold for three seconds, it will not let me go onto the car. So that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!